Well, the people have spoken, and it looks like I'm just going to be doing challenge runs in the order that I originally did them. Because today is going to be the shovel. Ah, yes, once a lowly gardening implement, now given lethal force. I mean, it. I think the original description for it was anything can be a weapon if you swing it hard enough, given enough velocity or something like that. Also, I mean, this does have a power glow associated to it, so maybe it's a little bit more than something that you would dig up your garden. Who knows? Either way, obviously what it says here is knocks back enemies and bombs. We're talking any sort of grenade, either from uh, the hammer enemies down in the prison depths, which is, I think, where we're going to be going today. Sure. Those from the grenadier. Same type of bombs from the bombardier. And, of course, the final boss, who has a pretty big... Ah, uh, you can counter him pretty well, all things considered, with the shovel. I mean, it's not a very hard, you know, difficult attack to deal with otherwise, but hey, that's a lot of extra damage they can do, making it, well, definitely one of the best survival weapons to take into the, the final boss fight, if nothing else. Yes, and indeed, I would say that uh, it's probably one of the best survival weapons that you can have, period, because it is the fastest melee weapon, unlike taking a... Valmont's Whip or War Spear or whatever. There's virtually no wind-up time to do with this. I mean, it's no surprise that uh, it was not originally a survival weapon, but that came in a later update because... You know, the whole knockback, the whole grenade deflection. Cool, not that useful. I would say that it's mostly about as useful as 90% of other brutality weapons, but making it with survival? Oh, it just become super good in a build like that. I still think that you'd probably be better working with any one of the uh, very, very good ranged weapons that you get if you're doing a survival build, but if you really want to go pure melee, shovel is not the worst thing that you can get. In fact, I would say that probably like Symmetrical Lance the most, then shovel, then ah, War Spear. As far as melee stuff goes. So it's high up there. Yeah, I mean, it's, it used to even be slower of a swing. I mean, I remember back in, what, like the Darkness update, uh, update 2 or something, they changed it to being much, much faster. Which is nice, because I always love the idea of using a shovel. Shovels are great. The, the idea of swinging around a... Nice. The idea of swinging around a shovel, that's going to be your chosen method of attack. Some random, essentially, big hunk of metal on the end of a stick. Well, I suppose, to be fair, all the shopkeepers that uh, deal in skills tend to seem to use a very similar sort of weapon. Now, you might say that that's supposed to be an arrowhead, and I would agree. So I don't know why I said that it was a shovel. You have to actually hit. I... Hmm... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, anyway, anyway. One second left. Hey, that was pretty impressive, right? Let, let's just get on with the run here. Yeah, uh, usually the... Usually the hitbox for that is a little bit more generous. At least that's how I remember it. I don't know. Again, usually if I'm going with survival, there are so many good options for range stuff that I generally don't prefer using the shovel, but I would not turn it down if given a good one. 100% on... I mean, obviously not shoot arrow upwards and in front of it. Somebody asking to do a run like that. Uh, I almost I almost had a run like that going on. I mean, technically it wasn't... Get out of here. I mean, technically it wasn't just a shoot arrow in front of you. It was the shoot a volley of arrow one going on with the... What was it? Grappling hook only run that I was doing? Oh boy, that one got pretty far. I got to the timekeeper before I died, but I found out during that run that apparently the game lies to you and that does not do. It, it, it. Hmm. And the grappling hook only does like, what, uh, one, two hit points of damage? Yeah, you can clearly see that's supposed to be Arrowhead. 
It only does like one or two hit points of damage rather than what it actually says on there, which is usually something like hundreds of hit points of damage when it hits. Oh, no, no, no. That's So it had to all be done just with arrow shooting alone. As far as what sort of weapon would that actually work with if I wanted to do a run like that, I don't know, like broadsword? Something where you can cancel out a lot of the hits before you even... Yeah, sure. Before you even go through with them. Making it so that you only get the arrow coming out and nothing else. I don't know. Overall, the... I hate the whole shoots an arrow in front of you. I think that these things are like the worst affixes. Because all it does is do a very, very mild amount of extra... All it does is do a very, very mild amount of extra damage for uh, pretty much what all it does is like break your... Uh, like freeze synergy. You have, oh, if you have a really decent sort of thing going on, 175% damage on a frozen target, and then, oh, no, you shot an arrow in front of you, now it's gone. Mm, that's gonna be a fun run to do again, because I still can never, ever hit the critical on that. There we are. Easy. Yeah, if I was using any other survival... Wow, this is just where all the bats live, apparently. Yeah, if I was using any other survival weapon there, I would have been exploded right in the face. Be like instant karma getting me here. Uh, so that is... Yeah, if you ever thinking like, hey, I want... I know a lot of people really like using the melee weapons. I mean, I prefer using ranged weapons whenever possible, but every single time I see somebody trying to go for like a... A tactics run or something first thing they want to get is always the the frantic sword even though I think come on that's you could get like a pyrotechnics you could get like a duplex bow when you're going for going for the frantic sword so yeah if you want to do that same sort of thing with a survival build this is definitely something easier right in there and let me tell you survival builds they're really good some better all right maybe I can do something like that yeah, survival builds are real good. Especially when you're not working with malaise. I would say that you can, if you're having trouble getting through the the final boss fight, Shovel's not only a good counter to him, but building survival means that you will be taking very little damage on early... 300 damage! Oh. Uh... Oh. Guys. I know this was the shovel episode. It's, um... It's turning into the frontline shield episode. I'm sorry! I have to do it! How can I not... How... How can I not? Oh my god. Uh... Alright, well this is a sudden pivot. Uh, okay, let's start talking about the Frontline Shield. So the Frontline Shield was never a very good item, I think. Slowly getting better right now. But I do think that having a free 300% extra damage makes it a lot more worthwhile to do. <laughs> Alright then. So, um... Oh, I do have to watch out for it stunning me there. Yeah, the only time I've ever used the frontline shield in... The only time I've ever actually used the frontline shield in runs is when I was trying to do a frontline shield only run. And that ended in failure. I've gotten pretty far with doing a like shield only type run just holding out a shield punishment got pretty close to doing that although there I still did a lot of parries I mean obviously the inability to completely negate damage hurts a lot when it comes to hurts a lot when it comes to utilizing a frontline shield well 
But with this much extra damage, it might be that I can just manage to tank my way through a lot of fights before even worrying about taking too much damage. Also, poisons enemies, too. This is... <laughs> Again, this is unprecedented. Never done this sort of thing before, where I just pivot, where it's just like, oh, hey, this run's going... Oh, no. This is too good. Gotten pretty close with a couple uh, types of cursed swords that I've seen before, where it's like, oh, man, two times damage cursed sword? Well, I gotta stop this run to go... Uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, they want to attack themselves. <laughs> Alright, come on, guys. Just... Just attack me here. Attack me so I can have you guys burst into... Poisonous tears. And I won't have to worry about it anymore. All right, so the idea here is that I'm going to pump up his survival as much as possible. This, I mean, even if it wasn't legendary, this still would be considered a survival scaling weapon. And then I think with the combination of the heart, disengagement, and what, maybe as much health as I can get, successful parries and reflected shots. I mean, reflected shots could be good. Hmm. Just go with extra health here. See if I can get that to work. Yeah, frontline shield has always been in a very interesting sort of item. You can't parry with it, so you're going to be taking a whole lot of damage anyway. Generally, taking damage, even if it's a small amount of damage, still puts you at kind of a disadvantage. And I think the more important bit is the fact that it... Nice. Is the fact that it also stops you from... It also stops you occasionally. After you take enough damage, you will also take a big huge... You know, you'll get stunned, for example, right there. Okay, no, that doesn't work at all. I just have to run past this guy. Cool. Thanks, video game. That said, what is that? 1,500 damage? Not too bad at all. And absorbs 90% damage. And of course, that's only 90% damage from one direction here. So I still have to be a little bit careful. Can't roll behind me like that. Yeah, an interesting weapon has never been... I've never found a very good use for it because malaise is on 4-cell mode, and you obviously can't do too much related to defending yourself if you're getting malaised up all the time. Every single every single time you take a hit, try to do a little bit of extra damage with this sort of shield. So that's always been kind of dead weight, which is unfortunate, because I do like the whole idea. It was obviously born out of the fact that they... Added in the whole ability to hold up shields rather than just forcing you to parry or nothing. And I like that whole idea. It's just unfortunate that... I don't know. I think would have to almost block all damage, but only from a very specific direction to be any good. Or just give it 300% damage inflicted on enemies. I mean, that works too. And poisons them at the same time. Here, let's see how it goes against the elite. Oh, we got the shield bear build. Oh, yeah, that's some... Mm, you are convincing me more and more by the second to continue on with this stupid idea that I ran into apropos of nothing. Ah, <laughs> uh, hmm... I'm actually kind of thinking about it right now. I might want to take a few items just for damage reduction. Just to make this... All right, I, I... Look, the plan was to do a... This plan was to do a... Shovel <laughs> run today. 
Jumping into Frontline Shield was just a twist of fate that I could not have possibly seen coming. Yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is go grab like a couple tonics or something, and then like some sort of shield that gives me damage reduction. And then see if I can just shield my way to victory against the hand. Hey, let me tell you, if this works, could be a completely legitimate strategy for finishing the game, too. And it's kind of working right now. I mean, that 1,400 damage on a single hit, and also it... All right, well, if I got the invincibility bubble up, it doesn't seem like it will function too, too good. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I do not remember exactly how it works that you can... That you get, uh, actually, I don't even know if I ever knew how it worked that you could get, uh, stunned using a weapon here. I do remember way, way back in the day, uh, one of the first things that they... I'm gonna get this one. 1800, I can probably do that. One of the first things that they had related to using shields was that you could only parry so much damage. Like... After you, like, if you were up against a tough enough enemy, usually something in the ossuary with a low-level shield, that you would just be unable to do a parry. Like, you, you did the parry, but then it didn't. <laughs> so I'm sure that sort of thing is still kept in here. At least the same sort of concept. Like, as it appeared in the GDD, I'm thinking that... It's the same sort of thing here. You can only take so much damage on your shield before it uh, decides to give up the ghost and then you get stunned for a little while. Yeah, sell this junk. Get out of here, man. I'll do a shovel run some other day. Yeah, full-on damage reduction. That would be good for that, too. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford anything else in here. Pull on damage reduction and just hold out the shield. Never stop holding out the shield and see if this works. It's just a slightly, slight variant of what I did in the original failed shield run. But this time we got a whole new, a whole much tougher boss to check out. And I would be lying if I wasn't a little excited here to see how this is gonna, going to go. Ah, crap really too bad that I'm completely un unable to do anything against those dudes there. But hey, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. You, you know? I can still one-shot you. I can still one-shot you. Feels pretty good. Taking like 18 damage from a hit from these guys. It's not even that much. I am going to have to be careful in the castle, because enemies can still inflict... Ah! Because enemies can still inflict malaise in there, and that can be a problem if I'm not able to take those dudes down fast enough. I'm just going to have to see how that works, because... Yeah. Take a maximum of, what, five hits, and then I'm either use, using my heart or I'm using a flask charge, and flask charges are going to be something at a premium right now. Oh, those things are so obnoxious. Am I even going to be able to afford that extra? I mean, I guess if I took a... Why did I even do that? That was just a bad idea all around. I guess if I took the, uh, if I took my necklace back and then sold the remaining junk there, then maybe I could afford it. I mean, an extra point of survival would be worth it at this point. Would be something I would say would be worth it. Okay. Maybe the amount of time you get stunned is, oh, why? Thankfully, it seems like if enemies attack you fast enough, then you just... This 
this is kind of dumb. <laughs> if enemies attack you fast enough, you have your invincibility shield, which protects you from taking a whole lot of additional damage while you're stunned there, which is nice, but kind of also silly. So, I don't know what to think. Also, thinking about it right now, disengagement might not be the best choice, because how- why are there so many shockers here? Why? What is this? What, did I walk into ShockCon 2018? Get out of here. ShockCon is probably a horror convention. Or maybe like BDSM, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if disengagement is working. If disengagement were to activate, what would happen? I'm thinking that I probably would not be able to utilize the... Come on, man, really? All right, fine, then. Probably wouldn't be able to utilize my shield at that point, but it would give me ample time to heal, so... Uh, probably would be worth rather taking... Instead of taking that, taking a... Uh, I don't know, spiteful instead? If it also includes reflected projectiles, I think that could work in my favor. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go s go over, go sell my necklace just so I can afford that extra thing. Necklaces are fleeting. I will get another necklace at some point in time. Don't you worry about that. And then I will... Uh, get a lot of my health back. Oof, that hurt. But it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it for that sweet, sweet scroll. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but there is no way, absolutely no way, that I could possibly take a curse right now breaking that down. Nor is there any way that I think I could even, uh, attack the door with what I'm working with right now anyway. It would have to be like a shoots out arrow for that to even function in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we are. Okay, okay, yeah. Disengage into something that only works, what, every 120 seconds anyway? So I think if I go... So if I go reset that, give me you, you... Yeah, 120 seconds. So come on, it's not that useful anyway. Take Spite. I'm gonna be sitting pretty much better, you know, overall here. All right, let's take a look. Most attacks, you're not going to be able to deflect from the concierge here. However, the punch is still very much fair game. And that's not bad damage at all. So, should at least be able to get past this easy. <laughs> Just keep doing it. He'll, any time that you are close to him, he's going to try to punch you. However, he won't try punching you after he's already punched you in his later phases. So when he gets into phase three here, he's going to alternate punches and other attacks. Unless you're far away from him, then he won't even try to punch you. But for right now, I can just sit here and get punched. Ooh, I might be able to prevent him from using his dumb shield if I just stand close enough to him. This is also a parry tactic as well that you can do with him. Good. <laughs> yeah, what, yeah. what is this just appear here to say? What, do you forget about me? <laughs> oh, this is this is perhaps the silliest episode of the challenge runs that I've done, but uh, just bear with me here. What's <laughs> just gonna It's gonna keep going, I guess. Man, I don't even... <laughs> Look, man, right now we are so off the rails. We have just... We have disconnected from the track. We are careening off into unknown territory at this point. <laughs> and the only thing I got to protect me is one gigantic shield that is ungodly powerful for what you normally get out of this thing. I'm coming for you, man. I'm coming for you with... This. What does this actually say? Nah, in fact, he's even bigger when you see him. Let's get into that time door here. Oh, good, good. Plenty of time left here. 
<sighs> well, at the risk of going for more shockers, I think I am actually going to probably get into the sepulcher because I really need as many scrolls as possible. Thank you, invincibility bubble. I honestly cannot believe how this is probably the most usage that I've gotten out of the invincibility bubble from shields after you get hit of like any time ever. <laughs> I can't I cannot think of any other circumstance where I've gotten more out of it. Maybe trying to do some kind of rally run when I have a when I was working with what like double double auras of laceration like the elite run that I did. That, that's maybe the only, only circumstance that's even comes close. Yeah, man, you gotta try hitting me so then you can get nearly 10,000 damage. We're looking at, what was that, 8,800 or so in a single hit? Hmm. <laughs> I'm... What do we got here? Maybe some delicious, well, some delicious vittles, I guess, but it's not really what I'm looking for. No, what I would like to do is, if possible, cool, is if possible, get to a shop and then get a little bit more damage reduction from, uh, That's a way more, like, legitimate strategy than I ever thought. But yeah, get some more damage reduction from, like, a, uh, skill or two. What I'm thinking is something like a tonic. Tonic's always good. And also, there's no, no chance that if I accidentally used it or... I, I feel like it, uh, as much as there is, you know... A conduct for this run that I'm attempting to follow. I think that fits within it. It's like, what, what would you want to take as a... Hey, come on, guys. I mean, we, we are firmly in showcase territory right now, let me tell you. This is no longer a single weapon run. So, I think that that, that makes sense as that. Like, insofar as I would say that there is a way to make a build around using this shield, I think the tonic is is definitely a way you can use it, especially if you get one of the ones with... Especially if you manage to get one of the ones with... Um, restores 35% health. That's just a lot more healing that you can use to block more hits. Stop jumping over me. Cannot believe those guys and how much they can jump. And their incredible mad ups. Hi. A lot of other shields get their own unique uh, type of... A lot of other shields get their own unique type of... Uh, uh, what is the word that I'm even trying to think of? Uh, graphic. It's kind of surprising that Frontline doesn't for some reason. I mean, what is Motion Twin? <laughs> Think as little of it as I did prior to attempting this run. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Uh, the way to go is get a legendary version of this shield, I guess. Because it's got three... Because it does th four times damage. Three times damage. 300% damage. I used to say four times damage, like back in the day. I don't know. And then... Then it's good. <laughs> it's the exact same sort of thing that I was talking about with the lightning bolt last time, where... Hey, they knew... Hey, they knew it wasn't very good, so... The legendary version is just plus 100% damage. That's the one of the legendary modifiers you can get on it goes even a step further with this shield, which is crazy. But no, you see, the eventual goal of this run is going to be trying to beat the hand 
while also moving as little as possible. The laziest hand fight you've ever seen. The least hype hand fight on YouTube. I want it to be downright boring. And I want people to be like, wow, okay, I guess Frontline Shield's actually pretty good. <laughs> I want me to be like that. <laughs> That's the sort of discourse that I want to be having. This is cool. Wow, 16,000 damage. I'm a little disappointed that I know the hand doesn't have any uh, ranged attacks like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that you have to... Uh, I'm pretty sure that when it comes to deflecting the grenades from the hand, that you actually have to do it in a way where you, you parry it. You don't just... You don't just hold up a sheet there. Unless he's like... Awesome. <laughs> but unless he's like, um... I don't know what you'd say, like, uh... Throwing it. Like, in his first lob, I think you might be able to take out the shield and block it, but... After they're on the ground, I don't... And that's obviously where I'm probably going to be at, you know, hitting him hardest. I don't think that's possible from that point. Also, I'm realizing right now, this is the ideal time to use Necromancy. I get hit for 12 damage, and then I can... Do... Ah, oh, good, good, good. Just need a little bit more money. Get hit for, like, 12 damage, heal for, like, 16 damage. That's an interesting sort of combination. I will maybe take that for the castle. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going to keep that as a little bit of... Uh... Oh, that would be so good. I'm going to take that as a little bit of insurance here. Just in case. Also, entire 100% confirmation bias. I'm not even going to pretend like it's not. I seem to be getting a lot of food right now, don't I? But again, that is 100% confirmation bias. Can I block these? Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, didn't see that coming. I know you could parry those, but I didn't know that you could also just block them if you get in the right position too. Uh, learning a whole bunch of stuff around this. Again, just completely bizarre run that we're working with here. 21,000, oh my. Oh, the, I'm thinking about it right now. The. The timekeeper is just is just gonna murder herself with her own shurikens. It's gonna be tragic. It'll, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is all right. Come on. There we are. Cool. Uh oh. Ah, gotta watch out there. Can't get too overconfident with, with this. You can't literally just sit in the corner and defend. That is not. That remains a non viable type of strategy here. <laughs> Give me that watermelon. Then I'm gonna get right out of here. Then I'm going to make sure that I'm saving this recording because I cannot even believe that this is happening right now. And there's also one hell of a thunderstorm going on behind me. All right, what do we got here? Where am I going? Probably upwards. If I was going to guess, I think that would be the guess I would make. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, cool. See, I told you there would be more necklaces. I hope this guy drops a necklace and doesn't make me look like a... Oh, wow. Unfortunately, he did make me look like a fool. Quisitors, they are terrible people. All right, give me... You. And hell there. So I'm just going to regen that as soon as I get into the next area anyway. What else do we have down here? And come on, hurry up. Work with me here, game. <laughs> I don't want to lose all this footage in case there's some sort of power outage. 
No, I still don't even have a second version of the shield to get. Kind of what I was... Well, I guess suppose that is completely out the window at this point because of the whole tonic that I took now. Oh, well. Say la vie. No. Yes. Ooh, another elite. Oh, no. Ah, shocker. That's what I was looking for, though. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you. Hey, you. Especially you with the scroll. Get over here. Thanks, Inquisitor. That's only making my job easier. I'm in the business of killing trackers, and business is good. It's <laughs> so ridiculous. Anyway. Oh, no! <laughs> cool. Boy, this is I'm, I'm getting at least a lot all the scrolls that I'm looking for here. That's nice, if nothing else. Okay, let's go. Gonna have a quick recording break here. Oh, uh, is this the best idea to try? Oh, I can't even. I don't even have nearly enough money to be able to do that. Okay, well, never mind. Then I don't even have to worry about accidentally doing that. Or and then I think in the next area, I'm going to attempt to see if I can use Necromancy. Mm. Still questioning how good that's going to be. I suppose we'll see. We'll see. In the meantime, can I take a... I can take a hit to the face, but it does seem like it might be an issue. Poison is actually not doing insignificant damage either. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's 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 finish it. I kind of hope she go for the throw. That works too. Damage was not bad at all. Attacking after a parry deals plus 300% damage. Ha! I am so far beyond that. You don't even know, game. All right, well, that was a pretty quick and painless kill. Would have been nice if I got that in my original run that I did with uh, Frontline Shield. But that's fine. All right, this is the last restore. You know what? I'm not even going to screw around with Necromancy. I'm going to make sure that I have as much health as possible because I am probably going to have to take at least one swig on the... I guess that doesn't really work as well here. <laughs> I did not actually. Now, is there any actual use to doing that? Uh, probably not, but it was cool. I enjoy doing it. Hey, and if you have a fun time doing it, I mean, is that not... Does that not make it worth it just alone? Guys, what are you... What are you... What were you even looking at? <laughs> it's, it's, it's like I tapped you on your shoulder. And did that whole like little reach. Okay then. Maybe I won't actually need to take a swig on the potion to uh, bring down my malaise levels. If I only get four this entire dungeon, unless for some reason I hit my head and decide to do.
the dual tracker fight, which would just be the worst. Even though it's right here. No. No, I'm not going to. It's like, that. that is the one thing that could probably... I mean, I would probably take them out in, like, two hits, but... Okay, maybe if maybe if this was like the last thing to do before I got into the Oh, here we are. Well, again, we're so far past doing just uh an only run. Cool. I mean, as much as I would have liked to have done an only run, I don't think there's any possible way that I could get a frontline shield. Mm -hmm. in a, a frontline shield that's this good, that's this able to actually make it... Or just, just walk upwards. A frontline shield that's actually able to make... To, to, to make this much damage happen unless I just happened upon it in a run. So, hey. Ah, screw it. Don't even want to screw around with that. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Almost jumped directly up in those spikes. That could have been bad. <sighs> Alright, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Is this the ending? Please tell me this is the ending. And then I can just... No, there it is! Awesome. Okay, and with mostly full health. I'm reasonably impressed by how that castle went. Usually it's much worse. Let's see if I can make that extremely boring fight against the hand actually come to pass. I doubt it. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you can like 20,000 damage per hit here, so. Uh, yeah, inflicts 2863 times 4 or whatever. That's not... That can't even be right, but who cares? Doesn't matter. Hand! Let's go! I've got a big piece of stone. <laughs> cool. Ah. Yeah, it seems like I can't deflect them with that. That's too bad. Ah, come on, man. Awesome. <laughs> wow, and he... All right, all right, that's enough of that. Yeah, I forgot that he has that completely spread out just enough that he hits you with each three hits, even if you are blocking with a shield. Thankfully, I can block these explosions somehow, for reasons that I cannot explain, but is happening anyway. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Hi. Uh-oh. Oh, can I... Oh, okay. Well, this is too bad, but hey... Unfortunately, it looks like I am not going to be able to do that with this. Ugh, whatever. Just get into your that thing. Could just do this. <laughs> For as little sense as it makes. Oh, just do your swings. Yeah, that's a good swing. Okay. 
Two, three, and done. <laughs> well, that was a run. <laughs> Frontline shield. I got a lot more respect for you, but only if you do four times as much damage as you normally do. <laughs> also, shovel. I don't even know. 